Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here again to give you a hack on how we can actually utilize new Google Sites as a template. Um, the old Google Sites allowed you to create templates and actually put them uh, in a category so you can just send those templates out and anybody can easily make copies of those templates without actually changing up your original file. For some reason, the new Google Sites doesn't have that option built into it just yet. So there's a few different ways that we can go about allowing the template to be created, but it's going to take a little bit of hacking and a little bit of creativity and then a caveat at the end. So let me go ahead and walk you through this. At first glance, you know, because the new Google Sites can be created right out of Google Drive, you think maybe that the copy hack would work, right? The copy hack is going up to the top URL, deleting edit, changing it to copy, and then copying this URL and sending it out to your staff. But this is what happens when you try to do that. If you send that copy URL out to your staff, you're going to get this 404 error. So if I paste that in, hit copy, you're going to get this 404 error because that force copy, that copy hack does not work for some reason with Google Sites. Another way you can go about it is, you know, normally you would think, oh, I'm just going to go to the share settings and make this as share as view only. The problem is when you do that in Google Sites, when you come up to the draft, it doesn't allow you to change the can edit to view only. Right. And so as of right now, the only way that we have had that you can make a copy of this is by sending out a link to a everybody can edit and hoping by giving people instructions not to change anything in this template, which doesn't always happen. Human error. People are going to be thinking they're working on their copy. They're working on your original template and everything goes a uh, little cattywampus on us. So how can we ensure that we can create a template gallery without Google actually giving us that ability in new Google Sites. Well, I want to share with you how. This is what you have to do. So in your drive, you have your template created. You need to create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder uh, Site Templates. Once I have the Site Templates, I'm going to hit Create and I have a brand new folder that I can start putting my Site Templates in. I'm going to take my template and drag it over into that new folder. Once I have the template in that folder, I'm going to change the name, uh, change the share setting of the folder. So I'm going to click on share advanced, and I'm now going to change this. Anyone with the link can view only. Now I want to show you what happens now. If you, now that we've placed that Google uh, site file in this folder that is view only, you can now grab the link of that share only file. I'm going to go to a completely different address so you can see how it works. I'm going to now paste it and you can now see that I have a folder and I can't delete this actual file. If I double click on it, it will only bring up a preview of the folder. I can't edit the folder, but what you can do now is right click on it, click make a copy. And now the person who has access to this view only folder can now make a copy of any of the templates that are there and they will not be able to delete the templates or edit the templates. It's a nice little workaround, but I want to have your attention right now because this is something that happened to me today. I thought I worked all the kinks out and then I made a simple change. So let me show you. If you actually go back into the main file that you created this under, do you remember when we were in our original file and I tried to have the share settings changed under the draft and it would only give me the can edit? For some reason, the steps that we took by creating the, creating the folder and putting the Google site file in it, it somehow amazingly, let me show you, if I open this up, I'm going to go to those same share settings and look what it did. It actually changed it because we placed it in that folder as anyone can view. It's right there. But here is the problem. If you ever change that. If you ever go in here and for some reason change it to anyone can edit and then click save, it is now locked to anybody can edit forever. 
no matter if you take it out of the folder, bring it back in the folder, and look what happens if we do this. If I go back into the file where I shared it and I click refresh, that file is now editable when they click on it. It, it will not revert back to, to view only, and they can now come in and edit it. So really quickly, once you've placed your template into the folder, you can edit it all you want, but do not go back into the share settings and change it back to can edit. If you do that, you will not be able to revert it back to that little trick on allowing us to go to the can view only to allow that quick and easy copy. Um, so please, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, please contact me on Twitter at Joe Marquez seven zero. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it useful, please share it on Twitter with your friends and please, as always keep hacking, keep innovating and keep making a difference in whatever school or district you are in. Thank you so much. And you have yourself a great day.